What's up guys, more Medic 1 and today we have a centrifugal clutch on the bench and the customer states, the customer says that the engine revs really fast and all of a sudden it's like it, somebody uh, hit the trans brake <laughs> and he said I don't like that, he said it's going to tear up my transmission. I said yes I agree and uh, what it is is the internals of this clutch, something is sticking because the way this th these clutches work is that when the engine's running and then when they're at idle they're in this position here but as the engine speeds up this clutch is going to get narrow and that belt is going to ride up higher and higher and that's what gives you your variable speed this is a variable uh, speed clutch so we're just going to take this clutch apart I'm not going to repair this clutch but I want to get down inside of here to see what failed However, we're going to replace it, and they're supposed to be little red caps that are sticking out that you can prize up, but the heads of the little plastic caps are missing, so I'm going to just push them down, down into the clutch. We'll retrieve those a little bit later, but these holes right here are actually holes that you use to run some bolts down in here and we're going to press this clutch apart. Now I've got just a little simple three jawed or not even a jaw just a three eared steering wheel puller and this little puller has just about given up. It's worn out. It needs to be replaced. We have used this thing and used this thing but all we're going to do the forcing screw is going to push down in the middle of the clutch here and whenever we tighten it it should pull the clutch apart. I'm going to go ahead and set this up in my vise just to help hold it. And just start giving it a little bit of pressure. Pulled the thread right out of the clutch. That's okay. We'll just make it. <laughs> we'll just have to go deeper or get a longer screw. Broke another thread out. It's time to get medieval with this sucker. Alrighty guys, so I immediately see the issue with this clutch. You see these three whooped out spots where the centrifugal fingers have just wore into this thrust plate and it's actually made a groove right here. Now this is a hardened thrust plate. It's supposed to, de it's designed to spin around as the engine's running. However, it's gotten to where it's got a groove and once that groove sets it 
won't allow it to spin. When everything is put together, these fingers ride right here. And whenever the engine revs up, the fingers are getting caught right here on this lip. And it takes an extreme amount of RPMs to overcome that and pop it to where it'll start driving. Yes, you could probably just repel, replace this, but a lot of times all you have to do is just turn it over. And this clutch is dry, dry, dry. I would definitely put a little uh, grease on this. But however, due to the rest of the clutch being worn, let me show you, and we're just going to replace it. Here is that thrust washer. I'm going to kind of mock it up down in here and just kind of show you guys how this thing works. Whenever the engine's at idle, all the fly weights are down like this. Whenever the engine starts speeding up, these fly weights start slinging out. And of course, it's simultaneously. They all three will do it. But it as the engine engine speed increases these flyweights sling out which pushes up on the thrust washer and thus squeezes the clutch down narrowing narrowing the gap for the belt to ride So that is the basic operation of a centrifugal uh, torque converter style clutch. Uh, some are a little bit different in design, but their principle is all the same. One thing that you do want to do is you want to make sure that this center bearing here, this one's bad. And to replace this bearing, you would have to, of course, pop this snap ring off here and go ahead on and separate the uh, clutch even further and this thing is under a heavy spring so you just got to be super careful all right hey guys hey if i pull one of these clutches apart and i see more than two things wrong with it i just replace it because the rest of it's going to be uh, not far behind it being wore out but anyway, hey, if this content helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, go ahead and click that bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.